call at the Japan Open the first day. Uh, how's the weather today compared to the past couple days? Today's been the windiest so far. Uh, it's still early. Hopefully it doesn't get any more windy. Uh, it's kind of cold. Coldest it's been so far. Um, but, you know, everyone's got to play in it. So it's really who can fight through this cold and wind today and see how it, you know, how it pans out the second round and then the following two days. And yesterday we had some unfortunate weather. It started to rain a little bit. Uh, today, are we supposed to have rain? Uh, yeah, yesterday was really foggy, kind of mis misty, spitting on us a little bit. Uh, but today it's like 50%, and the following day it's 60% chance at 60%, 60%. So who knows? You know, it's a toss up coin flip. So uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on us because, you know, I like to play this course when it's at its finest. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't.
shot. See you around. Man, that uh, that'll get you clean. <laughs> Let's get a little closer. Look. Do the other one. I like okay. that. Oh, that one. <laughs> this is the middle one. That one's a, this one's the earliest. Yeah, that one's the earliest. Which one? The normal butt one. <laughs> oh, got me. <laughs> <It's kidding> me. <laughs> Oh, here we are on day three. We're going into the final nine with you, Ricky, Felberg, and Nico. Nico. How did your uh, last round go? Uh, I had about 14 good holes. Started off bad, took a, took a bogey on the first hole, ended up boring the next hole. I was able to bring it back together, you know, uh, get a lot of, got a lot of twos through that middle section, got to three under par at one point. And uh, I was within one stroke of the lead going into the final two holes and then just completely lost it. Ended up bogeying, finishing bogey bogey, and Rick finished birdie birdie. Four strokes and two holes. Just can't have that, especially if I want to win. So five back going into the final nine. We'll see. Uh, any kind of different game plan going into the final nine compared to some of the other rounds? Uh, this It's supposed to be safari, so... You know, I definitely need to, it's either win or bust. I mean, the worst I can get is fourth, so really going for everything. Um, I'm in third right now, so definitely be going for some shots I probably typically wouldn't be going for.
Paul, we just finished up here at the Japan Open. How did you do? I ended up finishing third uh, behind Ricky Waisaki and Nicola Castro. Uh, they both played pretty well. Oh, I guess really well all week. And, uh, yeah. What, um, what factors were there today that you had to deal with? Uh, I mean, earlier in the round, round five, uh, I just started out real bad. Five, four to start, and then got a lot of birdies in the middle. Brought it back to under par and then finished uh, four, five, four. And uh, those just happened to be the four holes that we played in the final nine. And I just continued to do the same thing pretty much on hole one, which was five it. And I fived it the two times we played it in the final nine. And then hole two, I continued to four it. I foured it both times we played it in the final nine. And then uh, hole 17, I played a lot better. I threed it the two times we played. And hole 18, I played a lot better and twoed it the three times we played it. So one and two are the two holes that cost me the most stroke this week. So all, um, all around, how do you feel about the tournament and everybody you played with? the people here in Japan? The tournament itself is incredible. Uh, the experience, the show that they put on, uh, is just by far, it's really close, I should say, to the European Open, but they have more of an experience here in Japan. The European Open's the most professional tournament I've ever played. Uh, this one's pretty close. The course, the property that we play on is just extraordinary. Uh, you know, you're on a golf country club. It seems really like an exclusive one. And uh, just, you know, the, the courses, the experience, you know, if you haven't come to Japan or played the tournament, all the people, the staff, uh, they're just so friendly. They just love disc golf. It just hasn't exploded in this area that we are now. Um, but I hear other parts of Japan, it's, it's incredible to play in and, uh, you know, I can't wait to come back. <laughs> oh this is why Simon always wears a hat. He looks like, uh, what's his name? Yeah, he looks like that dude from the movie. Um, he played in Juno. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Michael Sarah? Is that it? I think it is. <laughs> it is, he's Michael Sarah. <laughs> uh, I'll go find it. Sub Zuno, that dude. In the third position, please welcome to the stage, Paul McBeth. Um, I just gotta thank all the staff Shimbo said, uh, this is by far, you know, one of my greatest experiences uh, disc golf. And uh, everyone with Hero and my sponsors, Innova Champion Disc, uh, Grip Bags, and good job, Rick. This mic is yours.